Welcome back, Miraculous fans, to another live reaction with Hungry Harmony. And this is Miraculous Season 5, Episode 17. Whee! Well, I am definitely in a good mood from last week because of how great of an episode that is. And thank you guys for commenting down below your thoughts. I loved reading them. And I also want a happy Miraculous Monday, everyone. That really weirdly came out. Blah, Miraculous Monday. Happy Miraculous Monday, everyone! Um, I'm here to watch 16. Why am I keep going to last week's 17? I am out of it. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Let's get started. I'm really excited to see what this episode is bringing us today. So, let's go. No one knows yet, cause I got a secret. Also, I found my staff. Let's go. Miraculous. Miraculous. Okay, who'd I have to hit now? Hey, but adoration. Are you sure, son? Look, back then, I wrote an entire movie to declare my love to her. Admittedly, the script was a bit long, but what? it was only because I had so much love for my sweet Audrey. Audrey. Um, well, I changed my name in the name of love. In fact, I changed my whole life for love. Andre, come and give me a foot massage wherever there is itching. Never bury your dreams, Zoe. You have two whole weeks left before the end of school year to tell whoever it is you're in love with exactly how you feel. Andre! Audrey, darling, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm coming! As you know, what? it's almost the end of the school year, which means it's almost time for our end of the year dance. That's why we asked you to select the class representatives who will organize the event. Let me remind you that traditionally, Red should be one eighth grade student and one ninth grade student. The eighth graders elected Zoe Lee, Mr. Damocles. And Marinette Dupan Chang has been elected to represent the ninth graders. Well, nice. We'll meet with you both tonight to find out what Freshman. Surprise us. We're going to make a great team. Wait till you hear my ideas. Pink. She good. It's just a sketch, of course. That's the dress I'd like to make for the dance. Well, I still have to get all the necessary pieces, but I hope I have time and Oh, that's an old one. Kind of dangerous and useless anyhow. I should just get rid of it already. I bounce all those crazy plans to talk to Adrian anyhow. Come on, let's head to the patio. Help Doris at the Joker Dance. You get to know Mirna very much right there. Though you kinda know her just a little bit already. Security cameras. Daddy! Oh, 
I'm sorry, sweetie, but we're in the middle of a computer update, and the last five minutes weren't recorded because the cameras were off. Wow, that happened. Plague had a good influence on you, I gotta say that. Way to go, Plague. That is cinema. If needed to proclaim their love for somebody else, this would be the perfect place and time for it. <clears throat> well, um, by the powers vested in me, the city of Paris authorizes you to hold this party on the Eiffel Tower. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And by the way, if Chloe comes asking questions, we never had this conversation. You got it, Anax. Raclette? Yes, Natalie. Adrian told me that he would enjoy this, and I've decided to make all my son's dreams come true. Thanks, Dad. Would you like some salami, Natalie? Salami! Could I go to the school dance with Marinette? Perhaps. Adrian, you're an aggressed. Too exceptional for- Marinette is exceptional too. Adrian, I'm your father, and I order you to give up on this idea. Didn't you want to make all your son's dreams come true? Yeah, I was about to say. Oh, counter, counter, <laughs> manipulation. Thank you, Dad. You're supposed to be protecting my son, and yet Marinette Dupin Chang is still being a very bad influence on him. Don't worry, Mr. Grast. A plan is already in motion that should resolve this problem quickly, once and for all. Punching bags are supposed to be punched. They're not supposed to punch back. The problem isn't Zoe, it's Marinette. She's the one setting a bad example for your half sister. Who are you again? I need to be done with this anti bullying party pooper. I have the perfect plan to get rid of her for good. But it's going oh, to be dear. you two. What are we doing now? Sabrina, please. Get lost. Just get lost. Leave. Leave. Sabrina, she's not worth it. You need therapy. You need help. Sabrina's gonna get acclimatized. Really? Really? Lila's plan to acclimatize. Gotcha. You know that Lila's trying to manipulate you too without knowing, right? And wait, I don't know. I mean, Chloe gets acclimatized on purpose sometimes. Vanish 
Vanisher. Vanisher was a good Akumatized villain. Oof. That was a tough one. Thank you, Mona. I'm transferring the essence of the miraculous of adoration to you, which will give you the power to recall any object you have previously touched. Bark, your power is now mine. Transfer. That is a hint that she got it when um season finale of From now on, you will be able to steal Not season finale. No, it was uh strike strike back? Thank you, Mona. Oh my gosh. As a friend. And voila! This version is simpler, less privacy, don't you think? Mm -hmm. And with less items to gather and put together, I might actually finish this dress in time. <sighs> if only it was that simple with Adrian. I'm trying not to come up with any more complicated ideas, but it's still hard to tell him how I feel. I get it. Telling someone how you feel is not easy. It's the most difficult thing in the world, actually. I also can't tell the person I love my true feelings. No way! You're in love? That's so awesome! Who is it? Oh, is it someone I know from our school? I'm so happy for you! It's pretty complicated. If it's complicated, you can tell me. I'm an expert in complicated situations. Anyway, there's no point in thinking about it because in two weeks' time, we won't see each other anymore. <gasps> a ninth grader then. <laughs> oh, I'm totally butting into your business, but one thing I know for sure is that this person must be wonderful if someone as awesome as you. What you doing, Sabrina? It's wonderful, loved by everyone. <laughs> kind of like Adrian then. I know how hard this is, but love conquers all. I pray that it's Luca. Nothing's impossible. But he's Nothing's not there anymore, and he's not a ninth grader, so never mind. No limits. No boundaries. Except this person's in love with someone else. Oh, I heard that story before, too. It does sound like that could be an obstacle, but who knows? Maybe he's not really in love with the person you think that he is. And even if he were, why couldn't he be in love with another person, or two people, or even no one at all? Eh. It's true, you are an expert at complicated situations, Marinette. Anyway, if you won't be seeing each other anymore in two weeks, there'll never be a better time than the party to say how you feel. I have to call my drama teacher and tell him I can't make it to class. Okay, I'll wait for you outside. It was all thanks to Zoe. She's the real hero. You should have seen her stand up to Chloe. She's not getting walked all over anymore. Hey, did you know she has a secret crush on a ninth grader? No. Who is he? I wish I knew. I would have helped her otherwise. <laughs> you, the great expert of love declaration? Come on, this is serious. Zoe's in eighth grade, which means her true love won't be at the same school anymore next year. It's hard to help her when we don't even know who Is it Nathaniel? I hope it's Nathaniel. It's Alliance! My stomach is twirling and it's not fun. I'm very uncomfortable here. Without the logo. Good job, Marinette. I love their matching, or not matching pants, but the very highlighted matching pants. So in this case, like very bright yellow, very bright pink. I like it. Oh, Sakura Blossoms, good choice. Which is why I thought it would have been a really smart thing to do. Are you recalling it? No. So everything is going to be taken away from the party because she presses it. How many can she do? I mean, unlimited, I guess? Maybe I'm not surprised. Yeah, they, they did that in past things. And they take away everything. It's going to ruin the whole ma magic part. Kitty section will open the evening with a concert. Anyone who doesn't like dancing and who isn't afraid of heights can have fun on a huge trampoline set up between the ceiling and the Eiffel Tower. My parents will have prepared a buffet with the Dupin Chang Bakery's most popular specialty. You'll also have the chance to enjoy beautiful decorative 
works by your talented favorite florist. Stupid Jake, give me my phone back. Uh, my darling Chloe, do you want me to buy you another phone? No, you <laughs> want my phone, the one that's in the bigger girl's gym bag. Don't you dare accuse my daughter. Uh, it's private. She wouldn't stop Good job, Tiki. She had nothing to hide. It's super suspicious. What are you doing, Chloe? Quit it. There will be no obstruction to my justice. The design girl's bag. I love it. The lady that was everywhere. <laughs> oh, I love the history of the Eiffel Towers in the background. Like the legit pictures. I love that. Like slowly building it. <sighs> How would you know about that? How would you know that? You just knew everything, Chloe. You're kind of exposing yourself right now. How did you know that? For two weeks, like the same thing we did with Sequi. Good cover. Perfect timing, kitty cat. How would you like to help me reveal the truth? Always happy to help me bring out a sticky situation. The only way to remain innocent in the mass fetisher is to seize Lady Buck and kept her miraculous. He's done so like just just get it. Just seize Lady Bug and <laughs> miraculous. Found ya. like Luca's old guitar. Did they fix it? They said it can be fixed. Nice. Woo! Good job! But then that means so... Uh, why am I saying so quick? Um, 
I mean, Zoe has to leave because she just confessed to something that she didn't do, but she's taking full responsibility for it, which is a really great fan. If only we could get... Unless Sabrina right now confesses everything that happened. Sabrina, I want you to be free from her. No one's surprised. You does a good job, good job to save her butt. You both saved each other's butts. Good job. I twitching. Like Zoe admires Marinette. Falling in love, like I love my sister. I love my best friends. And there's nothing lo wrong with loving someone caringly, like a brother and sister. And I think what Zoe thinks is loving Marinette as definitely as a sister. Nothing more, because that would be just really weird and just awkward and it just doesn't make any sense. But I do admire Zoe's admiration to tell. Marinette that she really cares about Why am I blanking on my thoughts? I'm weird What the wait what Wait what what is this? Is this? Is it? No. Is something wrong? What the? Hey. So strange. Maybe you should go home. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. Your manipulation has gone too far. Come on, Gabriel, stop it. He doesn't deserve this. But you're evil and I'm not surprised you would do that. Yes, exactly, the manipulation thing. Again, I knew it. The important thing is that I told him how I feel. Right, Tiki? Of course, Marina. You were very brave. You finally told Adrian that you love him. That's huge. That is huge. That is huge. I'm excited, but I, my feelings are going everywhere right now. I'm so confused. Well, that happened. Um, yeah, this episode wasn't honestly needed in my opinion. But okay, so let me clarify. <sighs> Excuse me. Whee! Sorry, that popcorn made me burp. I was like, that's weird. So this is my. It was a smooth episode, but Chloe, of course, just made it worse. Just like, of course, and then Sabrina gets acclimatized again with the power with invisibility, which is very smart. I remember it was very powerful. I remember she almost caught Marinette's ear or Leiba's earrings that time. It was so cool. And then um, Adrian, Cat Noir, just literally caught it before she, uh, it was taken away. So 
Sorry, I didn't really have to burp. Oh my gosh. Apologies. Oh, okay. Um, it's it was a cute Zoe episode, but I just did, I just think it wasn't needed. I I don't. So so this is my thing. What was the point of this episode? I I don't. I don't know what this accomplishes further because it it kind of makes no sense. The last episode made way more sense because of Kagami. Kagami loved Adrian, but loves also Marinette. So in this case, like the the it, it was it like that that sorry I already talked about uh, everything I talked about last week with with Kagami, Adrian, and um, Marinette stuff like that. I think that was really well done. I don't know what they were trying to do here. It's I disagree with some of the things that they try to push in here. I'm like, why, why, why? Like, again, character development. Like, I feel like they just, not saying they botched Zoe. Like, no, zero, zero. I, sorry, guys. I am really out of it. I don't know why. I can't say normal words now. English, why is it so hard? What I think I'm trying to say is I think just Zoe's confession to Marinette wasn't so much needed because it was useless in the end. I think useless might be a strong word, but it wasn't needed in the end because it's no use. Does that make sense? I, sorry, okay. I think, I, I feel like this episode was kind of similar to a copy and then they just paste it from the last week's episode. Does that make sense? Because it was, okay, so, so help me out here. Or help me, help myself. I need help here. So, I think they were trying to copy that last episode into this one, and I think it's just like, well, we already got a great episode last. Why did you try to put a 2.0 worse or not worse? I don't know. Like, I love Zoe's character. I love her. Like, she's great. I thought Black was the one who shaped her into, you know, standing up to Chloe and stuff like that. So I don't know why would it be Marinette. There was a couple times that Marinette did stood up and did some things, but I just felt like. I think that was Plague that actually did the big push, in my opinion, which I remember seeing from last episode, but, but Zoe's having a crush on Marinette is just, I think it's just not needed because it's, it's not gonna, not gonna happen and it wasn't resolved. I, I, I don't know. Okay. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't, so many things are going through my mind that I want to say like a bit to pieces, but it just keeps colliding and I just can't get that one thing I'm trying to say out and then something else comes and just trying to push it away. So. I don't want any misunderstanding. Like I'm trying to figure this out. I just that I think this just got me a lot of confusion, and I was also a little bit bored. But uh, I don't know. I I think this episode was not needed. Some plots that were not needed. Like what was the point? The ending when Adrian said no, like it was his father. Like that's so weird. Like his. His manipulation so strong in him that he hears him like that every time. I'm like, that is terrible. That is terrible, Gabriel, what you've done to your son. Adrian does not deserve that. Does not deserve that. Mm -mm. Um. Yeah. No, I think I'm saying this. I'm saying this. It's Lily. It's Lily, a copycat from the last episode from last week. It's literally a copycat. I'm seeing the exact same situation, maybe in different order, but I'm kind of seeing the exact same situation. And here's the difference. Episode uh, 16 was brilliant. Episode 17 tried, but didn't really satisfy. Is that the word I'm trying to look for? Accomplish its goal? I don't, I, I don't know. This is hard. But overall, the purpose of this episode, I think, was not needed. There was maybe one and two pieces. But that could have, honestly, that episode, like, the literally the ending, I think could have even been put in episode, like, last week's episode. No joke. Because they were all preparing for this big thing. Same thing in the last episode. Preparing for a big thing but then failed, sadly failed. Well, not sadly, the first one wasn't. 
you know, I think, I think I'm just tired. I, I, I think I may be sleepy. It is late today, so maybe I just can't put all my thoughts together because I'm really tired. Um, so I think I might just end it here, um, because I don't know what else to say. I think, I think just this was not much of an important episode that I think it needs to be, or want it to be, and I just think they just didn't need this. They didn't need this. They didn't, I don't think they need Koei, I, why do you keep mixing it? I don't think they need Zoe to have a crush. I don't think she needed. it. I don't think she was actually, like, there was no hints. No hints whatsoever. They just suddenly put that on Zoe in this episode. Why? I don't think it was necessary. I think it's pushing something. And it's not that nice of a way to push it, honestly, in my opinion. If anything, I thought Zoe was going to be, you know, in love with... Uh, if it was going to be a guy, I thought it would be Luca. I think Luca's an awesome boy. But not in the same class, because he's in Brazil. But, or if not Luca... I don't know, I would have been surprised. Maybe Nathaniel. I wouldn't be surprised if she had a thing for Nathaniel. I mean, he's an amazing artist. <laughs> but Marinette, I just... I see the admiration. The adoration. Wait, is that the episode? Wait, wasn't that the episode, uh, title? Wait, why am I blanking? Maybe that wasn't the episode title, actually. Let me double check. Oh, it is! It is adoration! There you go! Adore! Okay. That's what she was getting at. Zoe, Zoe had an adoration for Marinette. Like, looking up to someone. Looking... Like, in this case, like, most people have... Ad most people are like... Even people like have an adoration to Ladybug. They look up to her. She's great. We love her. We want her to succeed. We want her to defeat Hawk Moth. Shadow Moth, Monarch, all the above. It's an adoration. It's almost like um, when you worship an idol kind of thing. Like people have their artists that they love and this and that. I think that's what Zoe's kind of going at, I guess. In this case, because it is called adoration. So I'm not surprised. And that feeling of love, I just think that it's like, I mean, is I think for once that, you know, looking up to a person and I think that caring for that per person I think that's what it was and but in love I'm not sure that's what she was trying to say and if it is I'm sorry that it happened that way I think you honestly Zoe no offense to Marinette but honestly Zoe I think you could do a lot better and I think Luca would be the guy for you no I know just let you know I think I, I think Luca would be bad though I kind of kind of want Kagami and Luca to be together I think that'd be an interesting and kind of cool combination or like a pairing um, or a ship, in my opinion. Um, but honestly, Zoe, I think you can do a lot better. No offense, but I think you can do a lot better. But again, it's good to have a healthy adoration towards someone, but not an healthy one that could, you know, lead you down a rabbit hole, if that's the English term for it. But yeah. Um, but overall, I think this was literally just like a, a wanting to copy and paste it, cop like to try to copy last week's episode and then try to paste it here, but it kind of failed. Because one thing, you had Chloe. Because last week's Lila was great. Lila was a great villain. I enjoyed it. And she showed up in this one too, but it was Lila controlling Chloe. I just... Honestly, I just don't see any point to putting Chloe in episodes anymore if you want to have a really good episode, if that makes any sense. Because I don't... I There's no character development anymore for Chloe. I don't see it. I don't see any hints. That's why I think season two... Season 3 was great, but it just kind of plummeted at the season finale of Season 3. Um, well, not plummeted, but she chose to be on the wrong side. But I still want to argue with the writers that I think it was on that. Um, ruining char uh, Chloe's character. In this case, like I don't want the writers to ruin Zoe. I think this... Not saying it ruins Zoe's character, because I think there is an adoration to what she was feeling towards Marinette. And that's totally fine, an adoration. But don't take it too far to the point that it's clouding your emotional judgment. Like, girl, honestly, you could do better. <laughs> just to so you know, you could do better. Um, <laughs> but enough of that, like, most of the bits and pieces of episodes I feel like was exactly the same as last week's. And the only thing that we didn't see was the no coming from, or Adrian, no, coming from uh, Adrian from last week. But instead of saying that was just, you know, we heard Gabriel, we didn't see it coming from Adrian's mind kind of thing. So, but again, I don't think this 
episode needed because I think it was just literally a copy and paste from last week's episode. And last week's episode was the best. Still my favorite episode so far from season five. Still my favorite because I think it was really well done, really good character development, and just really well thought out and just, just what's it called, the pace of it was good too. Like I enjoyed every minute of it. So yeah, that's my thoughts. I'm sorry, I think Adoration may be one of my least favorite episodes because I feel like it wasn't needed. And that's just my opinion. I'd love to hear from you guys what you guys think and what your thoughts on the episode was, but in my opinion, it's just I didn't think it was needed. I don't think they needed to push it. Because I think they could have came up with a different episode and it could have been a lot better, but there were so many episodes I feel like we just didn't need or just, like, why? Why Why did you choose to have it? But, yeah, or like, why are we dumb? Like, why, why are the villains dumb? Why are the heroes dumb? Why is everything dumb? But, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna end it here because I am tired. I think I said that. I just, just couldn't put my words together. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful, miraculous Monday, and Hunger Harmony is gonna be out. But remember, be miraculous, simply the best, up to the test when things go wrong. Pound it. Alright, let's go patrol our own city. Come on, Uzi. Antlers ready.